we've lived in this area since before I was born. And you know, when I was a kid, we were coming here and just using the library. But once they put the Innovation Lab in, we've been coming here a lot more. My name is Nick. I am a programmer on the Aero 404 robotics team. And our robot this year is almost completely 3D printed out of PETG filament. World's Championship, which is here in Houston, it's the culmination of the first LEGO League, first tech challenge, and first robotics competition, all coming here to George R. Brown to compete. The teams that are here at Worlds, they're a very small percentage, so they're pretty good teams. There hasn't been any other teams that we have seen that have had the robot completely 3D printed. Having a 3D printed robot and a good engineering log helps to make us stand out to the judges. The challenge this year was the robot has to be able to pick up softball sized wiffle balls, shoot them into a center goal, and also, if possible, pick up a big yoga ball and lift that up pretty high. When we saw the challenge of shooting the balls up and being able to move around, we know we needed a pretty light robot. So that's why we tried to go with 3D printing, because it'd be strong, but it'd be lighter than if you were using like aluminum or steel. The original chassis, like when you register a team and they send you this box of parts, it's just like aluminum channel pieces, pre-drilled, pre-cut, all that. There's not really a lot of possibilities. Literally nothing lines up on it. We decided to 3D print it because that gives us a lot more possibilities for mounting and it also helps to make things a lot more compact. Our entire chassis is 3D printed and this allows our electronics to be a lot more compact. These big blue pieces, they are PETG printed on the Gigabot here at Freeman Library. Our first year as a first tech challenge team, we had a really small 3D printer that we got as a grant. Only had like a five inch by five inch by eight inch print area, it's absolutely tiny. When we saw the Gigabot here at the library, that's when we had the idea of printing out our entire chassis because we'd be able to make it all in one piece and that made it a bit more uh, structurally sound. We've printed out the chassis multiple times, scissor lift, is everything is 3D printed and 3D modeled and you have to go through iterations. I'd say that we're using 3D printing a lot more than a lot of the other teams. I think we've used 3D printing more this season than I think any of the other seasons I've been doing robotics all combined. Yeah, a lot of 3D printing.